Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for the 12th to the 13th, November 12th to the 13th. This is for all signs. We're just going to see whatever comes up. This reading is for somebody, not for everybody, okay? What do we have for today? It's a pretty, oh, heavy. I feel heaviness, like there's a, everybody is thinking. Um, overwhelmed, very overwhelming feeling. Um, releasing is happening within, and people are feeling it. You know, <laughs> look at this. Yeah, like I said, releasing is happening. People are getting unstuck. Things have been delayed. They've been trying to block the emotions, block the truth. And it's like it really can't be blocked anymore. What you have hidden, what you have pushed down is now at the surface. And you may have avoided it for as long as you possibly could. But in order to find happiness and abundance, you have to release it. You have to change. You can't keep resisting this change anymore, right? That's what this is. I've blocked the truth. I've blocked my feelings. I've blocked everything. I've blocked these emotions. You know, I I, I didn't want something to come out. I, w I was holding on to this for why? Why? Because you didn't want to deal with the pain. You didn't want to deal with the struggle. But now we're at this pivotal turning point where you can't avoid it anymore. You can't avoid it anymore. It's like it's time to accept this truth because it's right here and it is at the surface. It's at the surface. Somebody has been stalling dealing with it, you know. <laughs> Pretending that everything is okay it's okay when everything is not okay it's not okay change is needed and you can only push it down and bury it for so long before it festers to the point of explosion You are meant to be happy. You are meant to be abundant. You are meant to have wish fulfillment. And in order to have all these good things, you have to accept change and let go of what has hurt you. You have to. Somebody has been throwing away, missing opportunities by making the wrong judgment call. Refusing to accept the truth. But now it's like the, 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 the shit that you have blocked. Even in your subconscious. Is now. Coming up. It's, it's there. It's in your face. Wow. Somebody has been trying to control, clinging to control. All the while getting more upset. Because it's out of their control. The universe is in control, right? And yeah, your, re your free will plays a part. But there is a, there's a script here. There's a plan. There's a plan. And trying to go against that written script, trying to go against that plan when you've already were 
you know, made an agreement to follow that plan before you came here, whatever, is only going to cause you stress. And somebody has been going through a lot of stress, mental stress, trying to change the plan that they agreed to go with. And they're losing opportunities all the while because they're refusing to accept change. Accept, you know, that wherever there is, there is no, there's no growth, there's no happiness, there's lies, there's deceit, there's discontent and instability and insecurity and... There's also fear, you know. Now we've come to a point where I want more. I want more. I know I want more. I know I deserve more. I know that, you know, I want this extreme happiness. So you dream of this extreme happiness, but you don't want to deal with the, with the, the blockages that you've buried below. You want to bring those with you into the into the bliss? Well, that doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. You have to surrender to the universe, to the plan. And somebody has been reluctant to surrender, you know? No, I'm in control. 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 When the fact of the matter is, is... Yeah, you're in control to an extent, but the universe has its say, the plan, the universal plan. Things need to break down to bring you the abundance that you wish for, and that's the truth. And by trying to avoid the breakdown, trying to avoid the truth, okay, isn't going to bring you what you bring you the security and the stability that you're looking for. It's not going to bring you the abundance that you deserve, that you want. It's not. You're missing opportunities that could make you very, very, very abundant. But you, if you can't, if you refuse to open your eyes and if you refuse to wake up, well, hey, you will continue to live in a state of anger and chaos and disorganization because you're not willing to change. You're not willing to make any changes. You're not willing to accept help from anybody. You're not willing to surrender. You're not willing to release the pain. You're not willing to make any changes. You know, if you're going to be that stubborn, you're going to be miserable. Miserable. Seriously. There's a lack of awareness here because somebody is refusing to see that You can't block your emotions. I mean, you can. They're refusing to see the truth, accept the truth of a situation. And it's causing them delays of abundance. Refusing to accept the truth, right here, both of these cards, causing delays of abundance. And because you're not getting the reward, this is a freaking reward, but you're not getting it, it's, it's gone, it's, you missed the opportunity, because of your I, it's too controlling. I want it my way, it's my way or the highway, it has to be done my way, I'm the boss, I refuse to see it from anybody else's point of view, I'm a know-it-all. That mentality is not bringing you any reward. It's not bringing you any reward. It's making you angrier day by day by day because you're not surrendering. You're not allowing. You're not let go and let God. There's a plan. There is a plan. And and this person, whoever this whoever this reading is for, is trying to go against the plan. You know? It is. I mean, here we have 
this this hanged man that's the master of non-attachment it's reversed so it's time to detach from these emotions that you have buried and when I say detach that means release and the hangman man is also about dealing with pain in the upright. This guy doesn't want to deal with pain. He doesn't. He just soon hang there and pretend that none of this shit is happening. In the reverse, it's like, it's time to deal. It's time for this change. It's time for me to get unstuck from where I've been. So that I can have the wish fulfillment that I deserve. It's just been, I know that I want it. I know that I'm thinking about it. I want this happiness. I want it. In order to get it, you're going to have to stop hanging around to where you've been. Hanging on to where you, what you've been through. you got to release. No more hanging on to the fear, the hurt, the stress, the pain. You have to make that decision that you're not going to hang on, that you're not going to hang on to it, that you are going to release it and you're going to face the pain and you're going to face the storm. You're going to accept it and you're going to move on. Forgiveness is needed. Somebody can't forgive, period. And you know what that does? When you can't forgive, that hurts you more than anybody else. You are losing opportunities because you can't forgive and you're holding on to some grudges. Boy, holding on to those grudges, holding on to that pain is really causing a lot of discontent and unhappiness. When you have an opportunity for happiness and wish fulfillment, if you step down off of whatever it is that you're hanging on to, you gotta, you got to stop resisting this. Stop holding on to anything. Stop holding on to the pain. Stop holding on to the fear. Stop holding on to the anger. Stop holding on to the grudges. So that you can find your extreme abundance and you can find your happiness and you can get the wish fulfillment you deserve. Open your heart. Right now, abundance is absolutely delayed. Abundance delayed. This, uh, true, honestly. Because somebody can't forgive, holding on to the past wounds, protecting themselves by holding on, subconsciously even, by not dealing with whatever happened and just pretending that it's okay when it's not okay. Just pretending that living in some fantasy world is not, refusing to wake up, is not going to get you anywhere. It's just going to make you angry because you can't progress in a positive manner by hanging on. You have to, you have to release the pain that is buried inside of you. And we're going to get some questions underneath. How do I release the pain? Well, there's Google for that. How do you release the pain? You accept it. It's kind of like death. It's like the grieving process, okay? If you've ever lost somebody. How do you release the pain? You accept it. And you don't... You forgive yourself and you forgive the other person. You don't feel guilty. Don't hold on to the guilt either. No matter what you did, don't hang on to the guilt. You have to release that too. So 
to find your wish fulfillment. To truly move in a new direction, you have to forgive, release, and accept. And that means that you don't go after somebody in an angry manner. Because that anger in the end is going to hurt you. Even more than the other person, believe it or not. So it feels as though today is a day of accepting some hard truths that have been long hidden. These, these truths that have been buried and hidden have caused you to miss opportunities for abundance and stability and security. Because when you're holding on to animosity and anger and guilt and rejection and I could keep going, all it does is bring chaos and disorder to your life. There is an opportunity to find emotional fulfillment and a really big wish fulfillment here. If you swallow your pride, I got an ego right here, swallow your pride and accept what is and be happy about it. Just be happy about it. I learned from this. I forgive myself and everybody else involved and I release. <sighs> Wish fulfillment comes When you step down and accept the change that is coming or the change that is needed in your life, you will find abundance and wish fulfillment. But you, if the longer you resist it, the more miserable you're going to be. Oh boy. It does take courage. It absolutely does take courage. There's no doubt about it. Valiant courage. Take action with passion. Let me just zoom that. This isn't the time to be timid or hold back. Gather your inner resources and go forward gallantly with your banner of truth waving in the wind. Throw your shoulders back and move forward fearlessly. Take risks. It's okay to feel afraid. Just don't let it stop you. Don't play it safe. Opportunities will pass you by otherwise these cards always sum up the reading. Always. Speak up for yourself. Honor your truth. You are a light bearer for others. Through your example, people find and act on their truth with courage and grace. The sacred traveler sometimes experiences the unexpected on the road. And you have. Perhaps a bear appears or someone with less than pure intentions emerges. <laughs> We've all been through that, huh? Courage doesn't mean that you're not afraid. It means that in spite of fear and hesitation, you take action. Face your anxiety and go beyond the boundaries of limited perceptions of yourself. Any journey of the heart needs courage. 
and you're on such a journey. It takes bravery to go forward when you can't see around the next corner, but do it anyway. Do not allow yourself to be limited by the beliefs of others or, or even your own limiting beliefs. Go beyond boundaries of self-imposed barriers. No joke. <sighs> Live passionately, valiantly, and courageously. Let go of whatever it is that's, that's holding you back. Forgive. Forgive yourself. Forgive the other people in involved. Accept what has happened in your life, even if it has been terrible. Terrible. It's a new day. A brand new day. Move forward fearlessly. And do not look back. Good luck.